How's it going? Today I'll be showing you how to implement the observer pattern using JavaScript. So this right here is the file product. We've got a page with a button. When you press increment, the number inside the box adds by one and the background color is chosen at random. These changes are also seen inside the console window. We have the number is four and it is green and the most recent five colors were green, orange, orange, blue and green. So this will work continuously and you can see we actually have a nice and synced application. Everything just works together. So we have three observers in this case. The first being the element on the page, the second being the console message, and the third being the other message that keeps track of the five most recent colors. We can start with a empty index HTML file. We'll get the essential tags happening and give it a title of observer pattern. In the body, we'll need the three elements. The first one being the square itself. Give it a class of a square and an ID of elements observer one. Next for that uh, margin in the middle. And finally the button for the increment. We'll call this increment. Next, we'll add some basic styles for the square. We'll target the square class, give it a width and height of 50 pixels, a line height of 50, and a text align center. You can also display this as an inline block and give it a margin right of 10 pixels, an initial background color of black, a text color of white, a font size of 150% and the font family sans serif. Let's try and refresh this and see how we go. Alright, we've got the square, the horizontal uh, separator and the button. We can now start with the JavaScript. So firstly we'll make a model class containing the number and the color. So we'll make a new folder called JS, a new file called number model.js. This will contain a class definition with a constructor accepting no parameters but three properties. The first property being number. This will be the number itself set to an initial value of zero as well as the color. By default it will be red when it starts up and also an observers property which will be an array containing all our three observers. So basically what happens is when the model changes, all these observers inside this array will be notified that the change has been made. To start off, we'll need to add an add observer method to our model, accepting one parameter, O, short for observer. And this will add an element to the observers array. So this will accept an observer as a parameter and then add that observer to the observers array. Next we need a notify observers method. Now this will loop through all our observers and notify them when a change has been made. So we can use a for loop. And as I said, for each observer, we'll call the update method on the observer, which will basically notify them that the change has been made. But with update, we'll need to pass in an instance of this model right here. So the update method accepts the parameter, which will be the model itself. From there, the update method of each observer can access the number and color properties. So now we need to um, implement the increment method of the model, which will obviously increment the number, but also will need to choose the color at random. We can do this by defining a new constant array with random, sorry, we'll do colors. This will contain random colors such as orange, red, green, and blue. Now with the color property, we can set this dot color equal to the colors array math.floor, math.random, multiplied, hold on, multiplied by the colors length, 
and this right here will basically just select a random element in this array so orange red green blue whatever it is that'll be the result so next we'll need to notify all the observers that this change right here has been made we can use this dot notify observers so now each observer will basically be notified of these changes through the this parameter that was passed in to the update method we can now go back to HTML and include the model script and then down here inside script element make a new constant variable called model equal to a new instance of number model now we can try this in Chrome go back in here we'll refresh open dev tools and log out the model we get number model color of red number zero and no observers just yet so now we can do model dot increment log out again and we see we get the number one and a color of orange again no observers so now we can start to define the element observer one so in JavaScript we'll make a new file called elements observer .js. this will be a class definition of an observer an element observer for the constructor we'll take one parameter being the element ID and we'll have one property that will be a reference to the HTML element that will be updated we can call get element by ID passing in element ID so now we need to define the update method of this observer down here we can type in update taking in one parameter which will be the model so this right here will be this and that will be obviously this model right here so now through the model variable we can access number and color inside here we can call this dot element dot inner html equal to model dot number and then we can style the background color of the element as model dot color so this update method gets called on this observer passing in an instance of uh, this class so then it can access model.number and then model.color so now we can make a new instance of our element observer element observer 1 I will first need to include the script alright we'll call element observer ok so e observer 1 is equal to a new element observer with the id being that right there so now we can well firstly we'll just refresh and see how this goes we'll refresh and we'll log out e obs one an element observer with an element of that square right there so now we can add that observer to the model so we'll use the we'll use the add observer method and we'll say model dot add observer passing in e obs one so now this is a observer of this we can now test this in Chrome but firstly we'll need to add an event listener to the button so we'll say on click we'll call model dot increment so now in the browser we'll refresh and press increment and we see it works so now we can add the two other observers for console and history but firstly we'll just um, we'll call model dot notify observers right off the bat that way we refresh now we see we get zero in there so notify observers is called straight away and obviously it's zero and red for the initial values so now we'll define the observer for console and history firstly we use console so we'll make a new file called console observer .js. this will be a class called console observer 
the constructor will contain no parameters and nothing inside actually at all. But for the update method, again, we'll use model as the parameter name. And we can simply now log out to the console the number is plus model dot number and the color is plus model dot color. We'll just paste this out. Uh, we can also use the uppercase or two uppercase method on the color to make sure it's an uppercase. So now this right here will just obviously log out the number is boom and the color is boom. So now we can include the console observer script in HTML and make a new instance of console observer. We'll call this maybe console observer equals a new console observer and then add this to the observers. So model dot add observer passing in console observer. So now we can try this. We'll refresh, increment, and we see we get the intended result. So now for the history observer, we'll need to first define a new class like usual called history observer.js. This will contain a class definition, history observer. The constructor will take no parameters, but we'll have one property called color history, which will be an array of strings containing the first letter of all the colors that have been uh, changed. So for the update method, once again, we'll need to take a model as a parameter and then add one of, sorry, add the current color to the color history array, but to the beginning of the array. We can use the unshift method to add the element to the beginning of the array. We can type in model.color, the first letter of that color, dot two uppercase. So now the first letter of each color is stored inside color history, but it's inserting it in the beginning. So now we need to define a message variable containing the console message that says the most, uh, the most recent five colors were. And now we need to loop through the first five colors and append to this variable. So we'll use a for loop. We'll loop five times. And inside here we can say if there's a color at this index, then we can increment, sorry, uh, append to this string. So we'll say this dot color history i uh, plus and then a space. So this will basically construct that message where it says the most recent five colors were and then r, b, p, or whatever it is. So now we can simply just log out that message. To test this, we'll include the script in HTML as per usual and make a new instance of history observer called new history observer. We can then add the observer to our model, add observer, history observer. Okay, let's try this one. We'll refresh. All right, what's going on here? History observer is not defined. I think you need to use, yeah, the uppercase H right up here. So we'll try again. We'll refresh and we get the intended result. There we are, we get the R, O, B, R, R. And that is a way to implement the observer pattern in JavaScript. Just to run through it again, we can see we have the model, which when the model changes, we call the notify observers method on the model which will then loop through all our observers and call the update method. And each observer has a different update method. The element will change the number and the background color. The console observer will simply print out a message and the history observer will do some logic uh, to keep track of the most recent five colors and then print out a message to the console. 
and that is how you might implement the observer pattern using a JavaScript. Thank you for watching, see you later.